is uh, Dhanashri Pandit Rai and I'm extremely excited to be uh, partnering with Leela Life to give talks and demonstrations on Indian music. I am basically a classical musician who later on specialized a bit in the semi-classical genre also, which is called Thumri. So one of my quests has been to, you know, communicate all that I learned in my music studies to the lay music listener who would be desirous of understanding Indian classical music. I learned from two eminent gurus, Pandit Firoz Dastur for my classical and Shimati Shobha Gurtu for my light, uh, I'll call it semi-classical music. That was uh, the musical journey and I think the journey still continues. I realized that there was this need, there was this need to explain music in simple terms to the lay listener and lure him you know, him or her into classical music. And so I think my specialty, specialty was to design modules, uh, lecture demonstrations, where I explain classical music in simple terms. I use the idioms that they are used to. From the music that the lay listener listens to, I lead them to uh, classical music. Music of any kind is known to, what should I say, it's a balm to the heart, it's solace, it's uh, mood changing for the heart. Now this is true about all music, but there is something special that a classical music can give you. That takes you to an even higher level. It elevates your soul. They will themselves discover how it helps them concentrate, how it helps them calm, how it helps them go inward. This Indian classical music has a way of taking you inward, introspect. So um, what I wanted to also say is that the seven notes are common all across the world. Sare gama padhanisa or do re mi fa so la ti do. But what makes something Indian? Here is what I also want the clients to see. What is the Indianness? of Indian music. So helping them discover this idiom also is, is my thrust. So an important uh, part of uh, rejoicing in art through music would be to also, uh, you know, leave them with a lot of listening matter, listening to various rags, because rags have moods. Rags are linked to the times of day. There are rags for dawn and rags for the evening and rags for the night. There are rags for seasons. So I would love uh, the listeners, the clients to also be able to make these connections. Listen to morning rags, listen to afternoon rags. So for a lay listener, there will be a lot of listening matter where they can actually start to make the connections of rags and the times of day, rags and their body rhythms. So this is how I plan to you know, shape the courses that whether you're a musician yourself or not, how can Indian classical music become a part of your life? Tanum, tanana, tanum, tanana, tanum, tanana, tanum, tanana.